All right, leading lines, composition. We're in London, let's get to it. Islay? Islay? Istay. Istay. T-A-Y. Yes. I gotta get that right. I am known for f***ing up names. So, uh, I'm he'll probably... Call you, he'll call you a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, iced tea. Iced tea. I like it. She's giving me permission to call her iced tea right now. What's your uh, Instagram and uh, all your so? Are you on Instagram? On Instagram. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Tell them. That's a Stuta Dotra Manoskaita. Yeah, we'll put it in the comments. I think we'll we'll do that. Yeah, we'll we'll put iced tea's comments down below. All right, her handle down below. All right, let's get to it. You ready? Yes. Sir. Okay. So guys, everybody huddle up. I want us to focus on leading lines down this path. And this is especially, I think, useful uh, technique when we're working in high crowded areas, right? So one of the things you've seen in my portfolio, I get all these shots, you might think I'm editing all these people out. I'm really not, I'm trying to minimize it. And so what we've got here, and you'll see this, is two walls converging. So these are not only leading lines, they're converging lines, driving us right to her waist, which it should be. We've got light coming here, right, off the river. I wanna use that light to photograph her. I'm not gonna fight it. So I'm not gonna have her look at the wall. If I want her looking the other way, then we're gonna switch directions, but I don't. So I want her looking out this way. She cannot look towards the wall. It's gonna be all in shadow. Yeah, we could get a reflector, we can get strobe, and that's just gonna slow everything down. So in areas like this, where it's high population, high foot traffic, it's not realistic for us to expect everyone to get out of our way. This is public space, we are in their way. So I wanna minimize our footprint. We can all work at the same time, but you can see there's gonna be gaps, right? And what you should be trying to do with that gap is finagle your body so that we have converging lines. That's the first priority. And then if there's one person out there in the background, that's an easy removal, right? If we got a group of 10, that's not an easy removal. Stop shooting, take a break, let her move to the side, yep. reset. Does that make sense? Shallow depth of field, that's gonna be our friend here because there'll be all that fall off both behind her and in front of her. And then what I am gonna do is have somebody kind of throwing that veil. That'll also shield some people behind her. So I think it's a really cool wedding trick to work in this area. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna have you about here. Uh, and what I want is your body, belly button facing me this way. Probably just, I like angles in the body. Yeah, I love the hips. Shoulders don't always make them perfect. Shimmy them a little bit. And then we'll kind of work in this way. Hands, we can either have on the hips or maybe one's here, one's here. Mess with your hands. I want you looking at us and looking away. And that'll be kind of our range. And then we'll keep resetting. She's gonna throw the veil. You'll hear me count one, two, three. And we'll go from there, all right? Let's rock and roll. Here we go, here we go. One, two, three. Oh my God. Gorgeous again. Break that left wrist ice like this. Up. Yes, gorgeous. Too high. Come down. Right there. Gorgeous, girl. Here we go. One, two, three. So I went vertical on that. Mix it up vertical, mix it up horizontal. Ice now looking at us. I like that. Break that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun, fun. All right, so one of the things we're doing is we're making sure people get through so we don't block them. Some people are cooperative. They're nice. They get out of the way, but they don't have to, right? Again, public space. What you're seeing in camera is getting that vertical shot, nice compression at 200 millimeter, and then getting a horizontal shot, also nice compression. We're going to have to move some people out in Photoshop, but it's an easy edit. Uh, back up, Ice. Keep going, keep going, like 10 feet right there. Beautiful. Can you look this way? It looks pretty bright. If I have you looking that way, can you do it? So if you're something like this here, you think you can pull that off? All right, let's see you doing that. I'll give you a count. So like close your eyes, I'll go one, two, three, boom. So what could be really nice from a compositional perspective is trying to get that, a little bit of that bridge, maybe frame her in the bridge in a way that looks nice. Yeah, I think I like this, putting her like in the bottom right third or something like that. That could look really nice. Okay, here we go. Let's start you looking down. Go with that left hand over your right wrist. Love that, gorgeous. Chin down just a little. Gorgeous, everybody's shooting through it. Beautiful, there you go Ice, beautiful job, beautiful job. Love that, I'm getting out of the way. Switch it up everybody. So 
But guys, what I'm doing here is I am kind of using the building behind her. Really, it's part of the shot. I mean, it's just an absolutely beautiful kind of high key shot. Right, work with the sun, the exposures even across both. There you go, Nar, gorgeous. Underexpose a little bit, gorgeous girl. Right there, right there, right there. Beautiful. Okay, here we go, Nar, stunning. Love the hip, gorgeous. Love the face up, love it away and at us. Yes, Nar, gorgeous, that's a good look on you. Here we go. Nar is bringing the heat. Gorgeous. Eye contact down here, beautiful. See, this is my, that my point when that crop helps, right? I'm trapped, I'm at a 50 millimeter and I wanna get tighter but I don't wanna run back to my bag. So now I'm putting that 1.6 crop and I'm still getting this gorgeous look out of her. And there's an angle you can pick where you get the flags in play without getting the umbrellas. So what I wanna do uh, is use this as a leading line. Remember, we're still talking composition here. So I wanna use this ledge as a leading line, but you also have to be careful of the bridge behind her. That bridge is gonna start cutting through her face, which is why I like a 1.2 shallow depth of field here, because then we can kind of blur that and soften it. And I understand you may not have that one two, then you've gotta, you've gotta commit. That is either cutting through the center of her face or her head is completely in the green. So you've really gotta to commit to where you're going with that. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to find this angle. Here we go, here we go. And I'm using this to kind of drive in on both ledges to her. Eye contact here. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love that. Yep, keep working it, stunning. Lean one more time for me. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. We are here in London, so hopefully you see all the different, I mean, honestly, we're within 50 yards of each shot that we're taking, and we're using all these different compositional elements to create incredible uh, imagery for our clients. So get out there, try it. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. I'll see you in the next video.